Fine individuals, welcome to my station, where I dive into and dismantle the latest commitments from the universe of Netflix, the two projects and movies. Today, we're diving indiscreetly into the especially expected Ragnarok Season 3. Set yourselves up, as this signifies the last piece of the Norwegian Dream series, booked to ease our screens on August 24, 2023. By and by, if you haven't yet left on the striking outing of Ragnar, I ought to request you do as such before you go on with this video. A heads up before it's too late. Spoilers lie ahead. See yourself as advised. Ragnar, a show that splendidly rethinks Norse fables in a state-of-the-art foundation, drives us into the presences of re-established divine creatures. By and by encapsulated as youngsters, in the inquisitive town of Edda, this once untainted spot is covered in normal and social conflict, organized by the secretive Judals. This solid and royal group, while assuming the presence of current industrialists, are the secret extras of the out-of-date Goliaths. At the center of this experience stands Mang, a smart and remarkable optional school student who incidentally tracks down a staggering truth. He is the restoration of Thor, the Thunder God. His fundamental objective is anyway titanic, as it is by all accounts huge, to fight the Jutals and dismiss an approaching end times that does whatever it may take to consume the world. As the season 3 trailer tantalizingly unveils, Nan's odyssey is not even close to wrapped up. New fundamentals and foes search for him as he sets out on an unsafe excursion to fulfill his fate. The trailer furthermore tantalizingly suggests the ascent of other radiant restorations, sure, Vidar's kid, maybe encapsulating Baldur, the splendid ruler of light. Loritz, Man's family, potentially epitomizing the insidious clown Loki. Likewise, Gri, Man's past fire, perhaps tending to Freya, the goddess of friendship. Intriguingly, the trailer goads an outlandish association among Man and Vidar, the patriarch of the Jutals, who himself epitomizes the re-established Odin, the unique head of the heavenly creatures. Besides, a climactic showdown among divine creatures and behemoths represents an expected danger, as depicted in the trailer. Magnan's as of late found weapon, Mjolnir, will be set to a conclusive test against his most detested enemy. Ran, the power of the Jutals, revived as Ren, the significant goddess of the sea. A dazzling visual scene spreads out as the trailer wraps up, with Magni waving Mjolnir against a premonition sky, while Ran's voice resounds. You can't stop Ragnarok. It is fate. What's your interpretation of the Ragnarok Season 3 trailer? Might it at any point be said that you are spilling over with energy to notice the superb culmination of this experience? Perhaps you harbor a couple of speculations or gauges concerning the climactic finale. Void your contemplations into the comments portion underneath, and make sure to show your appreciation by hitting that like button and purchasing in for extra wise examinations and assessments of Netflix's different group of shows and movies. Yet again much gratitude to you for obliging me today, and until we meet, delighted overview.